Well, this commentary is late by a few hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well, I was I was busy today. I had to go out and get my new glasses, and I stayed up really late last night and slept a long time this morning because I had friends over and we were just chilling and hanging out. So all that stuff. So yeah, totally super duper busy me. Uh, and then I have class tonight, so that's why I have to get this recorded now. <laughs> But I am super duper tired, but I'm going to try and make it to this commentary, or at least part of it. <laughs> so Buzz Lightyear vs. Fox McCloud. Honestly, I would not have done this matchup if I had known Buzz was so OP. Because I actually announced this fight on my community, Google Plus community, before I announced it on YouTube. And when I announced it on my Google Plus community, I, I hadn't done any research yet. I was just like, oh, they're both laser shooting space heroes who lead teams of four. So, ta da, it's a perfect matchup. But, Buzz ended up being extremely OP, way more OP than I thought. He has a gigantic arsenal, he has way better durability feats, and he's, of course, if you've seen the episode, Billions of times faster than Fox McCloud, so yeah, Buzz's Buzz's speed is pretty insane. It was ridiculous. The TV show's also really bad. It's just so boring. I mean, there's a few funny moments, but it's mo for the most part, it's boring. I like suffered through this research. Uh, I like Buzz in Toy Story, but in the movies and the cartoons, it's just ugh. Ugh. Nostalgia doesn't hold up for me there. Toy Story does, because Toy Story is awesome. But the quote unquote real Buzz is not that good. <sighs> that nose ring bit, I kind of like that. I have no clue what to talk about. What am I doing? I'm panicking. I'm, I'm just saying stuff now to fill up time. Oh yeah, Star Fox. I really do like Star Fox. Um, my first experience with Star Fox was um, in 2008 with Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I played Star Fox 64 on like a virtual console thing. They had like a masterpiece section where you could play demos of all the games that the characters are from. And Star Fox 64 was one of them. And I really enjoyed that. I've always been a fan of like space shooters and stuff. Like, Galaga is always the game I go to first at the arca arcades. I can make it to round 50 <laughs> on Galaga. I'm really good at Galaga. Oh, it's one of my favorite Namco games. Uh, it also comes... Galaga comes from my first discovery of Galaga. Every time you boot up Tekken 1 on the PlayStation 1, Galaga, you get to play a demo of Galaga, so it's really fun. How did I get from Buzz Lightyear to playing Galaga before Tekken 1? Huh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, and speaking of Tekken, I have quite a bit of somber news about Jin vs. Sasuke that I'm going to have to tell next week. Oh boy. But I won't get into that now. For now, I'll just stay cheerful and continue talking about this commentary. <laughs> I hate my life. <clears throat> oh yeah, I included the vehicles here because I honestly had both of these characters do so little outside their vehicles. I mean, Buzz does a bit more because he's a TV show and it's like episodic, so... He has quite a lot of time to be outside his vehicle. But Fox, on the other hand, he's, he's not outside the R-Wing very much. So I had to include their vehicles in the research just to fill up time. And Buzz, the results stay the same anyways, so it didn't really matter. Because Buzz's vehicles are way better than Fox's. He has a grappling hook to pull in Fox's ship. His laser cannons from his ship are ridiculously OP. It can handle bl powerful blasts and lasers, so... It's pretty good. Buzz is, Buzz is pretty good. Oh, my shoulder hurts. Yeah. Oh yeah, this feat was insane when I discovered it. Uh, ow. Okay. Uh, stretching. Ah. Like I said, I'm tired, so I'm still stretching and all that and trying to wake myself up. Even though I've been up for hours now. <laughs> Sorry I'm not myself today, I'm just a little bit depressed because of recent news. Lots of recent news in my personal life, but also my YouTube life. 
Let's just say the about the fictional fights isn't quite going as well as I I'd hoped. It's hard to stay positive, but I will try. Even though I'm normally um po optimist po pe I'm normally a pessimist. I was trying to look for the word there. I'm normally a pessimist. But yeah, if you remember in my fictional fights episodes, that would have been different if I was biased. The video on that one. Uh, I did say Buzz vs. Fox would have been way different if I was biased. Yeah, I do like Fox way more. Like I mentioned before, because of my fascination with space shooty ship games flying around. I got the full version of Star Fox 64 on the Virtual Console. I played it like crazy. It, it was fun. I love Star Fox. Unfortunately, I haven't played Star Fox Assault or Adventures or any of that. I had to look up Let's... I had to watch Let's Plays and walkthroughs of that to get my research on that. But Star Fox... Star Fox 64 is like a remake of the original Star Fox, and then Star Fox 64 3D, and then Star Fox Zero. They're all like the exact same game. Uh, that's one sad thing about space shooting games, is that there's not much you can do with it. It's pretty much the same every single time. I guess that's why that genre is kind of dying, and why Star Fox Zero didn't do as well. Like, the age of space shooter games is pretty much over at this point. Because <sighs> there's not much you can do with it, so... It's it's pretty sad. I wish I wish there were more like it. I really like those kinds of games. But wow, we're barely even halfway through the video, and I've already run out of things to talk about. I'm so disappointed in myself. Behold, one of the shortest commentaries ever... Fictional fights. I hope it was entertaining. I'm just. I'm really not feeling it today. See you later.